Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you happen to be watching this. Welcome along to another prediction video. In today's one, we're going to be talking to you about the Sky Bet Championship. Yes, a we are. Highly competitive league. Um, some people say it's the hardest league to get out of in the world, and we are going to try and predict this crazy, crazy division. So, what you're going to see on the left hand side are basically mine and Adam's tables. As how we have predicted it now if you haven't seen the premier league one we do not know each other's predictions at this point i asked adam to go and uh, write down his predictions and he's done that for me um so we're going to be going through it kind of section by section so we're going to deal with the bottom half then we're going to deal with the top half i can already see you kind of shaking your head are you not confident with any of your selections? Oh, no, or? not at all. Like, um, <laughs> yeah. It's going to go well. <laughs> the, the summer has gone by. I mean, I'm, uh, beyond the Premier League, I'm, there's, a, there's a few tiers of football that I'm not very good at looking at. This is going to go well. Then, uh, isn't it? So it, I could really upset some people here. So what I've gone on is kind of what I know. So if there's okay. some heavily misplaced teams... Sorry. Then just yeah. Just... Don't put any bets on anything no, 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 relating no. to what I no. just don't bet. So this is purely based on our opinions and what we're kind of going with a gut instinct of what we feel, signings that have been made, etc. etc. So um what we want you guys to do is let me let us know in the comment section your kind of thoughts on what you think is gonna go on this season. If you support any one of these teams, let us know if we've kind of got it wrong in your eyes just just let's just have a bit of a conversation about it we'll reply to every single comment that we get um but yeah let us know down in the conversation that'd be absolutely awesome let's start off then with the bottom three teams first of all i have got charlton birmingham and hull who have you got this video is going to be very different opinions okay i've got luton Millwall, right <laughs> reading I have got Luton, Millwall and Reading as my three teams just outside the relegation zone. Oh, okay. So that is very, very close. Okay. So let's talk about your three, first of all, then. So um, Luton, Millwall and Reading. Why do you think those three teams are going to go uh, down? So for me, Luton, they remind me of a Burton. You know, they're just not quite ready yet. I just don't know. They had a good campaign last year. I know year. they did, but it's, it's a very good campaign. It's different. Yeah. It, and teams have good campaigns and they come up. I, I just don't. I'm not sure they've got the resourcing and everything behind them to do it quite yet at this level. Right. Um, I'd love to see it if they did. Yeah. They like muscled through the division and, after a couple of and, seasons. And if they can stay up with the new stadium that's on the horizon as well, that could be massive. Yeah, for the football club and for the area. Yeah, definitely. And getting relegated isn't a, a nice feeling as a no community either. So um, mm. it would be good. Yeah, if they could sort that out. Millwall and Reading. Why have you said them? I think Millwall's time is up. I said it on the last video of someone, but yeah, I think like, I don't know. Just I know they've got a new manager in, right? Um, and they have started recruiting, but they've lost some key players as well. Right. Um, and I don't know. They just seem to always be. I don't know if Millwall have got a new manager. I think they've still got Neil Harris. Neil Harris there. I thought they have got someone that's changed no. over. Reading have, I think. I could be wrong on that one, but... Ignore me completely. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, for me, I don't think Millwall will be. Yeah. I think Millwall, because they've, they've tried to get rid of a lot of the old guard. They've got rid of people like Steve Morrison. There's potentially um, talks that... Um, oh, what's the lad's name? He's going to Ipswich, apparently on loan I can't remember the striker's name the striker's name, name. no nor can I it, um, escapes me now but they've um, they've also got rid of Lee Gregory as well um, they're trying to go in a little bit of a different direction but I don't know just I think they're going to be okay just just be okay um, they I've, found it quite difficult at times last season as well didn't yeah they? for me their home form always carries through though they always seem to manage to find a way of collecting points at home so well, I think they're going to be all right places to go in the country though. yeah it is tough going down there um, Luton I think they'll just they'll just stay up by enough of the bounce at the beginning of the season will get them enough points to build on yeah and then we'll keep them up Reading I just I don't know <laughs> Again, it's another club. I just don't understand what is going on. I don't understand the philosophy, what they're trying to achieve as a football club. It's a very, very strange, strange club. Um, but that's why I've got Hull, Birmingham and Charlton going down. I just, I think Charlton have come up. They've still got that owner in charge. 
um, and they just don't seem to be spending a huge amount but no. they have let go of some massively key players and as a promoted club when you're trying to stay that's weird it's a very strange philosophy to be yeah. able to do that Birmingham getting rid of Gary Monk it's just a stupid stupid decision to do he's a fantastic championship manager yes the football may not be of a certain quality but you know I just to, to employ his assistant manager and then to come up with a statement of oh yeah well we might employ a manager later on in the season is a very it's a club I don't really I don't understand the owners I think that's more to a do bit of desperation um, and Hull losing Nigel Atkins as their manager I think it's going to have a massive effect I don't know if they're going to be able to keep a hold of Jared Bowen and Grzycki as their two focal points up top not sure about Hull I've got them in quite a different position. Okay, we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've, I've already said about my three teams are going to finish above the relegation zone. Who have you? Who have you gone for? Charlton, QPR, Barnsley. Okay, well, Charlton is more or less near where I've kind of I think said. That's about right. um, who are the other two? You said QPR. Barnes, QPR. I've got Barnsley. them. In, I've got QPR in seventeenth. So I've got Barnsley in thirteenth. Okay. Because I, I, I think Barnsley are very, very similar mould to what Norwich did. They've got a German manager in. They've, they're playing a certain way. They've got some really, really good, young, talented players there. And I think they've got some smart investments. I don't think they're going to set the championship alight by any means, but I don't think they're going to be anywhere near a relegation to battle. To be honest, but I, I think that they may find it. They'll do enough to survive. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll be honest, I was contemplating putting QPR in a relegation spot. But yeah, I, I can't see it really. Do you know what they are? One of those teams because I've got them as seventeenth. I think they're going to struggle. Yeah, I think they're really, going to find it really hard. Really struggle this season. Um, Although the signing, um, oh god, who did they sign the other day? The striker. Yeah. Um, oh, his name escapes me now. But they've made a really, really good. We've done pretty awful for names on this video. Yeah, so far, so. apologies, but yeah, they've made a really, really good sign, and his name's going to click in a moment. But then I've got Wigan finishing in 16th. Um, again, I think the home form will kind of carry them through. They're just... They're just there. Okay. They're not amazing, but they're just going to be there. Who have you got 16th? Bristol. Bristol City? Yeah. Are you kidding? No. What? I don't know. I just don't know if they can roll it on like, I know they've got some good players there but I'm not right, sure okay you're going to be shocked where I put them then um, probably getting promoted so I've, I've made um, some big calls on this league you this have um, 15th I've gone with Sheffield Wednesday um, I think losing Bruce is a he was developing something quite good at that football club um, I just I, I think they're going to struggle without him really do I don't there are, they've got a lot of high wages players that are earning a lot of money they're still trying to ship out a load of players. I said, I think he was developing something quite good there. I think it's more of a loss for, for Sheffield Wednesday than it is for a loss for Newcastle that he's now their manager, if you see what I mean. Yeah, I don't know. I think they could push on after that. Really? Um, yeah, I think so. Okay. I, I think they've got a good foundation. So who have you got in 15th? Preston. I've got them 14th. Yeah, I don't... I don't. So more or less... I, I think they've, they've got enough about them just to carry on. Yeah, but I don't think their fans can get too excited this year. No, um, who have you got then in fourteenth? Uh, Birmingham. Um, oh, okay, uh, right. So my reasons for it were the mine. way they performed after their points deduction mm. last year. They showed that they've got the grit and yeah. edge to come into difficult situations. Well, but maybe because got that um, Gary Monk is not there anymore. Yeah, well, <laughs> apparently the assistant manager is a bit more attack minded oh, okay. than what Gary Monk is, so it might. You know, that might flow through anyway. Shackles might be taken off, and it might be. It may all go you know, wrong. I, I don't. I can't. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that, I, I don't think they're going to really be touching the top half of the table much of the season. I'll be mm. honest. Yeah. And then thirteenth, I've got Barnsley. I've already, already talked about them. Blackburn. Yeah. Well, I haven't talked about Blackburn, so they're obviously in the top half in my predictions. I think. Okay. They, I think they're going to do quite well. Um, Tony Mowbray is a fantastic manager. I really like him. I, I feel like it could be a hit or miss season, hence why I put them around the area where I did. Okay. Um, I didn't want to commit one way or the other with them. Okay, fair enough. So let's move on to the top half now. So the top half predictions are now going to be on your screen. Um, and yeah, so I've put Blackburn 12th. 
I thought no, I had okay. them a little bit higher than that, but I, could, I wrote this list like three days ago. Okay. Um, so I've got them in 12th. So we're close. Uh, yeah. I've got Hull. Okay, so that's a big call because I think they're not going to do very well at all this season. Uh, Your thoughts for them being top half? I think they've got enough about them, uh, especially up top. Um, well, this is the thing. If they can keep hold of Bowen and Krasicki, yeah, I, I, then they will be more or less there. They just seem to create a lot of opportunities whenever I've watched them play. Mm. Uh, and if they can keep that going... I'd... Like I said, I think Nigel Atkins going is a big... Their Premier League days are long gone. Oh, God, yeah. But, um, 100% gone. Yeah. Um, I've got Forrest in 11th. Snap. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, just... <sighs> Forest and Forest. Say that they? Oh, forest they have a really off. good year. Or, well, they have six good months and six bad months in yeah. life, don't they? Yeah, Forest or Forest. That's just that's all we need to They're be They're still on a that. big club in my mind, though. Tenth? Uh, Swansea. Really? I had Swansea a lot lower than that. Yeah, I, know. I had um, I had Swansea in 18th. But I again, think they're going to really, really struggle this season. I like the way they played last year. I don't know how they've recruited, actually, over summer. Um, um, they, haven't, they haven't spent a huge amount. Um, um, and there's obviously constant talk that McBurney's going to be going. Apparently, Aston Villa are after him. Obviously, they've lost Graham Potter to B to Brighton as their manager. Yeah. Um, I think they're going to struggle. A bit of shake up there. I think they're going to struggle. Yeah, I may have overshot with that one. Okay. So I've got Derby in tenth. Wigan. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's a yeah, big call. That's, no, that's yeah. Like thought feeling it out a bit. Like. I think it's difficult. I think you get to this part of the table and there's some good clubs that are going to be yes. fighting. Yes, yes. Um, and when I looked at it, like there's teams that I think that will just push on where they left off from last year yeah. and others that I think will regress as part of that. Right. Um, See, for me, I think Derby are going backwards. That's why I've put them in 10th. Um, Frank Lampard was able to use a lot of his connections to bring in a certain calibre of loan player in. Okay. Um, they've got um, Philip Koku yeah. as their manager now. Takes a lot to get used to this division, as Daniel Farker found out in yeah. his first year. It, you either hit the ground running, um, but a lot of Forest managers, foreign coaches have come in and struggled. Um, we've seen it happen. You you need time. Yeah. If, De if Derby are prepared to give him a little bit of time, I think he'll do all right in the end. But I think you're going to, are... to laugh later on. Okay. Okay. Have feelings. Um, Ninth, I've got Huddersfield. Um, um, I think that I understand what they were doing towards the end of last season. They realised they got to the point where we're not staying up. Yeah. Let's just build now for next season. For me, it was too much of a losing culture coming down. So that's around. why I think that I understand why they were playing certain players because they were getting ready for this season. But you've got to turn that mentality around in those it's, players' heads. And I think they're going to be all right. But they're not yeah. gonna just they're just gonna miss out on the playoffs. So I've gone for Stoke. Yeah. In that position. I okay. still don't think they've got enough about them. Really? Yeah, like I, I don't know. I I was expecting them to do absolute wonders when they came down and be untouchable, but they're just so many draws. Yeah. So many draws last season. It's a shame, to be honest. Okay, I'll talk about Stoke in a little bit then. Um I've got Brentford finishing in eighth. Snap. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel the same. Do you know what? I, I made I put them in eighth and I instantly regret it. I think they're gonna finish higher. I because think they have a very good squad. They have a very good squad and the manager has now clicked and under, understood what it's all about. It's the last season at Griffin Park as well before they move into yes. the new stadium and yeah. they're gonna to wanna to go out with a bang. So yeah. I, I I've put them in eighth, but I actually think they finish they could finish a bit the, higher than the that. The problem is with this league this year is that there are a some strong core it's a real teams. strong competitive division yeah which is yeah. why some of our opinions are going to be very different to each other's i okay. think because yeah. it just depends on some personal opinion as to which way that goes yeah yeah so i've got cardiff finishing in seventh uh huddersfield okay so two positions out yep. from that one similar sort of thoughts on what I've said or is it is yeah no it, uh, really mine was based around how they did build at the end of last season I just think that they may be more prepared for this division mm, uh, yeah. than otherwise I think if they hadn't have done that I would have actually have said they may have been at risk of the whole free fall culture yeah. because it was tragic yeah uh, they, last they, year, they just they, gave up yeah. to be honest um, but I think they'll be a bit more prepared yeah um, okay 
playoff time. I've got Stoke finishing sixth. Cardiff. So okay, so I, on that. yeah, I, I I think Cardiff Neil Warnock is just made for this division. This is this is yeah. his bread and butter. Yeah. Um, but I think they're just going to miss out. I just don't think they're going to have enough up top. Um, but yeah, I've put Stoke sixth. I think Nathan Jones has managed to whittle a lot of those players into what he wants now. Yeah. And he's got rid of a lot of players that were on the fringes and possibly causing issues. They're now going to have that half season where they understand his philosophy and his style of play. Yeah. Um, and I just think they're going to do quite well this season. I don't know. They're, they're making some really smart signings where people are going, what are you signing him for? But I think... You think it'll work out? Yeah, I think it will. Okay. I think playoffs for them. Fifth, I've put Leeds. Um, so after Cardiff, I've got Fulham. Okay. At that point, I, yeah. Uh, they're, like, let's not mess about. They have got some quality players, and they were rubbish last season. Like mm, in the Premier defensively, league. Christ, they were but, shambles. But I think they've got enough about them for this league, which they've proved when they actually came up last time. Yeah. Um, so I think the owners there will be looking to ensure that they make a quick bounce. Yeah. For me, I think Leeds. I don't think they're going to be able to get quite to the levels that they were last year I think they'll do alright I think they'll get playoffs still but if they don't get playoffs Bielsa's gone okay. 100% he's gone yeah they don't hang about at Leeds do they no like, no, I'm but surprised I think, they're still there I, th- anyway, I think yeah. it's this is the first time that they've actually had a manager that they are desperate to keep a hold of his quality he, he, he's, the ball is well and truly in his core yeah he can walk away at any point yeah. he's a fantastic no, he's, coach he's brilliant uh, fourth Middlesbrough uh, fourth I've got West Brom I've got West Brom finishing in third so we're both oh, in I've got Middlesbrough in third oh okay yeah, so, so we've both got them kind there. of just there or thereabouts I think uh, Middlesbrough under Woodgate they're just going to be able to attack now yeah hopefully yeah um, um, and just build on what Tony Pugh has done defensively get that attack in all you need to do is get some longer scoring again. M- Middlesbrough would be my call well. as well to win the playoffs. Well, from my teams, I'm going to go with Stoke just because I've picked them up a bit. <laughs> I've <laughs> okay, got, yeah. I can't. I can't. Not uh, have you got to commit. Yeah, no, I yeah. think I think Middlesbrough have, have got it in them. Right, my top two: Bristol City, Derby, and Fulham, Leeds. Okay, talk me through your two then. Leeds and Derby. Derby. So, That's a big call. Yeah, Derby to start with. They've been within touching distance, regardless of who's in charge, for years. We, can we just can we call them Derby County from now on? Derby rather County. than Frank Lampard's Derby County? Uh, 100%, yeah. We can definitely call them Derby County. We're not, not Frank Lampard's Derby. Or is it, it's now Frank or is Lampard's it? Chelsea. The deeds have been yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, for me... There are still some quality players there. Like I know some of them have gone. The mm. club has still seems keen to chuck money at anything that moves um, and move players on at the right time as yeah. well. Okay. Um, like in terms of a coach, they've still got someone in that's pretty quality, to be honest, with a good footballing heritage. Right. Um, I, I think that will do them well. Um, I, I, I honestly think that they've they've been within touching distance enough. They know what losing feels like they're going to want to crack that and it just feels that I, I just feel that the time is probably right so is that why you've also put Leeds up there as well because they know what it's about they've been close and they've it will spur to, them on yeah and they've been close for a couple of seasons but they're not only were they close last year they had the ingredients behind it to do it properly whereas before people yeah. were laughing at Leeds because of like every time it went slightly wrong it was classic new, Leeds new coach knew this knew that same thing whereas happens. now they've got it right they've got decent players they, they seem to have their heads in the right place. They've got defenders okay. to be scared of. They've got attackers that can finish. Do you not think the loss of uh, Pontus Janssen well, at centre-half is going to be crucial? It will be. He's a, he, I, I love him. I think he's a quality player. Um, mm. But no one's irreplaceable. True. One True. player does not make a squad. And I, I honestly, I think Leeds have got it. And one of the key things for me is I looked at it when I was going through it. I was thinking everyone that came down last year wouldn't make my top three yeah. well that was the th- this, is, this is where I think me and you are going to differ on because I've as I said I put Fulham top I think their first 11 and the fact that they've managed to keep a hold of Mitrovic who's just signed a new contract um, they've still got Sessegnon they've got Tom Kearney <laughs> yeah 
all the ingredients that got them up last time. They've got Helder Costa. Um, is it Helder Costa? But they've got some fantastic. They've got sorry. They've got some fantastic players in their squad. I think they're going to do really well this season. And I think Bristol City. They this have players is... too good for the championship. Before yeah. we move on, like, yeah. let's be brutally honest. Yeah. yeah. But Bristol City. I'm calling it now. This is my big prediction because you had them finishing what did you very low fifteenth something like that. Yeah. This is Bristol City's year. I'm telling you now. The whole club has been built up in the past couple of years to do something, and they've been there or thereabouts, not quite made it. This is gonna be their year. See, for me, I this think is it's gonna just gonna go the other way. I think that they've been building up and building up, and I think it's just gonna come from underneath them because of the yeah. strength of the division. But this is the championship for you. No one truly knows, and everyone. I mean, these will be interesting to look at at the end of the season. I tell you, yeah, that. really will, yeah, really, really will. But let us know what you think. Really, really, really want to hear from you guys what you make of it. Um, I think we've kind of got we've got a lot of teams in the same sort of places as yeah, each other, um, but there are some big calls in yeah. there from both of us. I mean, just going back through your list very quickly. Um, I think having Hull hold that high up, that's a big call. Sheffield Wednesday in the playoffs. Even Birmingham. He's a big call. Um, there's some massive calls on his list here. Um, but then again, my one as well, people may laugh at me when I say about Bristol City. Um, I think we've just yeah. got teams on mine that have got form to emulate from last season and yeah, push on yeah. from and yeah. uh, I think there's people with a real point to prove out there and those are dangerous in that yeah. league yeah but as I said leave us a comment on where if you, if you support any of these teams or even if you don't let us know what you think of both our predictions down in the comment section below um, we'll reply to every single comment that you leave so make sure you do that if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up and also subscribe this is mainly a non-league channel so if you are interested in that kind of stuff and about what we do maybe check out some of the other content as well that'd be really really much appreciated but thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video um, we're going to be doing league one and league two next which is going to be very very interesting so make sure you subscribe for those videos as well but until next time as always adios adios